I really don't tell anybody. I just, I just keep it by myself because, you know, I was so embarrassed. I'm Nena. Uh, I work as a teacher in the Philippines, but still it's not enough. After 32 years of teaching, I retire because I have a debt of sending my children to school. My cousin-in-law offered me a job here in America. I believe the only way to settle my obligation is to work here. At their door, they took my passport. And everything was changed. She pulled my hair, she spanked my head, she punched my mouth. I sleep at the top of the dog bed. They don't allow me to sleep also in the couch because they don't want to make it dirty. She said, that you, you are only a helper. You don't have right to discuss. As a teacher in the Philippines, her position is, is kind of high level. And coming to the United States as a domestic worker, that is very shameful, especially that she was uh, being treated as a slave. Although she prevented me to make friends with the neighborhood, our neighbor, the 13 year old, wants to play with the dog when I took the dog out. Because we make friends, then I told the girl about what had happened to me. I said it, it will be a secret. She told me, Nina, I could no longer endure. We have to call the police. It embarrassed me. I could not handle what I feel. What we saw was this very shy and obviously very traumatized and embarrassed woman grow into a confident person because she really grew back into the teacher she always was. I saw Nana blossom right before my eyes when we started discussing the support of the Domestic Worker Bill of Rights in California. And I think it's because she went from being a teacher to playing a completely different role where she had absolutely no rights as a modern slave. Ako'y mong unungan, mahalon, hangtud sa lupnganan, kalipay. Ang akong gibati kay bugtong kang bahandi. The meaning of that song is uh, because you are far away. So I, I sing that kind of song for her. That you promised me to come back. Good morning, Jen. Now I like to take care of the elderly because I feel that I'm taking care of my mom. When my mom was sick, I was not able to take care of her. Because the Coalition to Abolish Slavery and Trafficking Organization is the best organization in the world because lots of people I knew when I'm already in, in CAS, I know I heard lots of people in problem that we really need help. I'm so very much thankful of CAS and those people behind CAS because CAS cannot live without those people behind them. We are the living witness of what they did. <laughs>